So this is an arithmetic series that starts with three halves and has a common difference of one half. So you keep adding a half, la 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 la, la 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 la. And they want you to go out to the 50th term. I don't know what that is yet. Uh, and they want you to evaluate the series. So instead of just listing out these, they want you to figure out what you would get if you added all those numbers up. Phew. Well, fortunately, there is a nice uh, formula for that. So if ever you're dealing with an arithmetic uh, sum or series, you can get the sum of the first n terms by taking the average of the first term and the last term. So adding up the first term and the last term and dividing it by how many numbers you have, in this case two, the first term and the last term. So take the average of the first and the last term and multiply that by how many terms you have. So when you think of it that way, it makes a lot of sense. And I'm going to rewrite this series, this formula every single time and say it that way so that it can help remember it. So we're like, okay, yeah, if I want the sum of my first 50 terms, I'm going to start off with my first term. Bam, three halves. And I'm going to add my last term. Oh, crud. <laughs> I didn't know that one. Oh, stuck. That's okay. Uh, there's only two formulas you need to know for arithmetic sequences and series. So if you get stuck, you go to your other formula that we were using before, that we can get any term we want by starting with our first term and adding that common difference n minus 1 times. These two formulas are going to get you through everything. So if I want my 50th term, I'm going to take my first term, that 3 halves, and I'm going to add my common difference, that 1 half, uh, 50 minus 1 times, so 49 times. So 3 halves plus 49 halves is 52 halves, which is 26. So my 50th term was 26. And so I'm taking the average of my first term and my last term, and I'm multiplying that by how many terms I have, 50 terms. And then I just need to do that. Um, which, why did they make the first problem so fractiony? I don't know. But you can do it however you want. Uh, I'm going to make that 26 into, I'm going to put it back to that 52 halves that I had there, right? So that's 55 halves divided by 2 times 50. So I can do depends. I can do 55 fourths times 50. That's fine. I could cancel that and make that a 25. So I can do 55 halves times 25. And the hardest part is multiplying. So we're getting 1375 over 2. And that is the sum of the first 50 terms of that series. Just what you've always wanted to know. Awesome.